If you have a urostomy or are going to have urostomy surgery, it may be helpful for you to understand how the human urinary system works. The urinary system begins with the kidneys, two bean-shaped organs located just above the waistline toward the back. Urine flows from the kidneys through two narrow tubes called ureters and collects in the bladder. A sphincter muscle allows the bladder to store urine until it is convenient to empty the bladder or urinate. When a person urinates, the sphincter muscle relaxes, allowing urine to flow out of the body through a narrow tube called the urethra. A urostomy is a surgically created opening that allows urine to flow out of the body after the bladder has been removed or bypassed. A urostomy may also be called a urinary diversion. When a person has a urostomy, urine is no longer eliminated through the urethra. Instead, urine is eliminated through the stoma and collects in a pouch that adheres to your skin. Your surgeon may select one of several surgical methods to create your urostomy. The most common method is called an ileal conduit. To create an ileal conduit, the surgeon will remove a short segment of your small intestine, then use that segment as a conduit for urine to flow out of your body. The surgeon will close one end of the conduit, insert the ureters into the conduit, and bring the open end of the conduit through the skin. This new opening on your abdomen is called a stoma. The short segment of intestine that the surgeon removes will not affect how your intestine functions. The surgeon will simply reconnect the intestine and it will continue to function just as it did before. Urine will begin flowing from your stoma immediately after surgery. At first, the urine may have a slight reddish color. However, after a few days, the urine will return to its normal color. If you have an ileal conduit, it's also normal for the urine to contain mucus. During the surgery, your surgeon may have inserted some small tubes called stents, which your doctor or nurse will remove sometime after the surgery. Each stoma is unique, and chances are your stoma will look different than someone else's stoma. The skin around your stoma should look just like your normal skin, with no excessive redness, rashes, or sores. Remember, output from the urostomy is urine, which can be irritating to normal skin. The ostomy product you wear must have a skin barrier that fits closely around your stoma to protect your skin. The most important thing you can do to keep your skin healthy is to use ostomy products that fit well, minimize leakage, and stay in place.